All right, so we are, we are going to continue with uh, a little bit of, of teaser material from the Learn T SQL with Eric course. Again, uh, that is, that is uh, still on pre-sale price until after the summer when the advanced material drops. Uh, there, there's a link to purchase it down below. It's 250 bucks right now. It'll last you for the rest of your life. And of course, if you are attending uh, past Data Community Summit, uh, and you're coming to Kendra Little and I's T-SQL pre-cons, you will get access to this material for free because it is companion material to uh, what we will be teaching. So, um, you know, SQL Server 2025. Uh, there are release notes all over the place for it, and uh, there is not a single uh, worthwhile enhancement to T-SQL to talk about. Um, sure, we got regex. Okay, do uh, you have any idea how many people that's going to screw up? Regex and aware clause. <laughs> I mean, cool, like, as a consultant, like, yeah. But uh, as far as, like, things I'm excited about, nothing. Uh, I think, you know, one way... One way you can sort of judge how much Microsoft cared about a specific SQL Server release is uh, by how much T-SQL has uh, been sort of uh, alleviated of the, the many things that it has been missing for many years that are in the, the SQL standard. Uh, and this one is rather laughable. Uh, you know, I guess Microsoft is busy um, trying to trying to get Fabric to catch up with Databricks, uh, so they have they have ceased trying to get uh, SQL Server to catch up with like every other database on the planet. So cool. Anyway, uh, the only uh, T SQL enhancements that I have thought were kind of neat were back in SQL Server 2022 when window functions got a couple neat new things. Window functions got nothing in SQL Server 2025. We have, we have once again been uh, left in the dustbin. We are on the shelf. We are not having a good time. So like if you, if you, if, if you ever spend time like, just like, I don't know, like if you read T-SQL blogs for fun, you read SQL Server blogs for fun, you may have found uh, a particular brand of problem uh, across posts over the years called the last non-null value. This, of course, did get easier with window functions. Before window functions, it was, forget it, like it, query, queries would never finish. But even with window functions, it takes like multi-step queries in order to get the last non-null value for something. So if we run a query like this and we say, uh, like, you know, we get the last commenter is lag user ID one over order by creation date, you'll notice that there's a, a lot of, you know, nulls in here. So if we wanted to find the last non-null value, we would have to like, we would have to essentially like, like run this query and then run another query to sort of like, to get those other values. It gets very complicated very quickly. What SQL Server 2022 added is a couple things that you can stick into uh, like the lag lead uh, window functions to either ignore nulls or respect nulls. Now, you can think of it what you will, that SQL Server Management Studio 21's parser uh, has a bunch of red squiggles in this query because it does not recognize the syntax from SQL Server 2022. All right, so we have SQL Server, SQL Server Management Studio 2021, which became GA like, I don't know, a couple months ago at this point. And we have SQL Server 2022, which came out like three years ago at this point. And the parser is still like, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, we got dark mode. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the, I, I promise you that this query will run successfully. Uh, what I've added to this query are the, the lines ignore nulls uh, for this one and respect nulls for this one. So ignore nulls makes finding the last non-null uh, thing a lot easier because this will give you the last non-null value in the column, right? So this, this ignore nulls just gives us the, the value that we want over and over again. Granted, this isn't a very interesting data set, but uh, the respect nulls, we get all of this stuff back. Right now, forever, we have had the ability to pass in a third input to uh, like lag and lead and stuff. 
I'm just going to spread this syntax out a little bit so it's a little bit more obvious uh, what I'm doing in here and why uh, there are some rows that have the uh, a, a very strange big number in them. Uh, and that is because I am adding a third in optional input to the lag and lead functions, which give you a default value for any anything that would have been were produced in null because of the function. So the results in here, you'll notice that both of these lines have uh, the integer maximum for them. That just that that's because we filled in a blank with that optional third parameter. Now, there's other neat stuff in that came out in SQL Server 2022 for window functions as well. Like you can now have shared window clauses. Uh, so like if you were writing window functions with like, like, like similar, um, like window specifications in them, you would have to like write that over and over again. And your queries could get very, very big with, win with, with window function specifications. But now what you can do is you can say something like, uh, this, right. And we notice we're just saying over X here all right and typically over x would be like huh what what is x well x is what we have defined down here this window x right we have it's almost it almost looks like a common table expression for your window function isn't that scary window x as partition by owner user id order by rows between unbounded preceding and current row so both of these window functions uh, sum and average can share a common window clause now would that microsoft were so kind as to give us more neat enhancements to T-SQL like this in SQL Server 2025, you and I could be talking about much newer cool stuff. Here we are though. But what's even neater, I think, about the common window clause is that they can, you can actually stack them so that they inherit window clause specifications from higher up ones. So it almost looks like stacked common table expressions when you read them. So here, notice that we're not using X anymore. We're using TS and AV, right? So this is the window specification for uh, sum, and this is the window specification for average. And if we look down here, this is where I'm doing the, the, the magic work for this one. We have window X as partitioned by owner user ID, right? And then we're, say, we're saying comma TS as order by score, between rows unbounded preceding and current row. And then just for, you know, a little bit of texture in the demo, AV is uh, ordering by score descending between unbounded rows preceding and unbounded rows following. So they're both going to partition by owner user ID, but then they're both going to do something slightly different with the order by. So score for this one is ascending, score for this one is descending. This one is going from the beginning of the results to the current row. And this one is going for the entire result set. So unbounded preceding and unbounded following. So it's like the entire thing is what we're getting the average as. And now we can, ha we can allow our window functions to not only share a window clause, but to inherit and share window clauses. So we can get back even, we can, we can, I don't know, make much more interesting queries uh, uh, with, without, I don't know, I guess that's actually still kind of a lot of typing now that I think about it. But it saves you some space up here in the select list. It makes that cleaner and tidier. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that much. So uh, that's just a couple cool things um, from 2022. Hey, we got regex. Ding. Like and subscribe. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you over in the next video where we're going to talk about uh, some some. Uh, some stuff that makes that batch mode uh, makes a whole lot faster. So we're going to take a little break from being depressed about Microsoft's uh, abandonment of SQL Server generally. And uh, we'll talk about from some stuff from back when they cared. It'll be a good time. Anyway, thank you for watching.